three, administrative requirements for the rule executive order um twelve eight six six the final rule of the version title twenty nine two five part twenty nine excuse me for the regulatory action under the statute three five of the executive order twelve eight sixty six because of the raises no novel leg, leg, legal and policy issue rising legal mandate for the president priorities. The principle and set forth executive order currently pursuant to the executive order. It was reviewed in the Office of Management and Budget Office of Management and Budget Revision, Title 29 CFR Part 29, pertaining to the terms and conditions of the apprenticeship of the program, sponsor the registered program, standards apprenticeship for the federal purpose of the department with a grant authority for the state registration agency for the act on the behalf of the department registered apprenticeship for the program, standing for the federal programs. <laughs> federal purpose of benefits of recognition for the apprenticeship program and apprenticeship federal purpose are to meet the requirement of the federal contract. Grant agreement with the range agreement dealing with the apprenticeship of the requirement of the any for the federal financial and other assistance benefit the provision provide privilege contribution aligned with exemption preference the right into protecting with the apprenticeship of the sense the final rule is the first provision of the regulation for the national apprenticeship system since the department of the first promulgated with the rule nineteen seventy seven to raise the novel policy of the issue without the department has determined the cost of the program to sponsor state registration agencies associated with the registration apprenticeship program and the apprenticeship under the revised terms. Any condition only minimal with the different with the different from the other pertain with the current requirements of the current twenty nine CFR Pro twenty nine, but the revision will not have an annual effect on the economy of hundred million dollars more and more will they be adversely affected with the economy, the sector with the economic productive the competition, job, environmental, public health and safety, state, local local and tribal tribal government community in any with the material way there will Therefore, we conclude the final rule is not economically significant and it is not subject to the statute 6A3C of the executive order paper pro the paperwork reduction act. The final rule per required with the registered apprenticeship program is fine for the apprenticeship to submit the apprenticeship agreement with the form of the Department of Labor with the appropriate state registration agency. These requirements were previously reviewed with the pro pro approved by the use of the Office of Management Budget under Title 29 U.S. Standard Code 50 and Title 29 CFR 29-1 and assigned with the Office of Management Budget Control Number 12050223 under the provision of the Paperwork Reduction Act of 1995, Title 44, U.S. Standard Code 3501. PRA or Paperwork Reduction Act. Additionally, Office of Management Budget previously approved the Department of the Information Collection and required for the apprenticeship agreement with the statute 29 including the collection with the apprenticeship of the Social Security Number of Office of Management Budget Control Number 12050223, expiration date October 31st, 2008. The Department is in process of obtaining the extension of the form for three additional years. The Department has determined that the final rule contains no information collection requirements nor that, nor that any of the requirements are substantial, substantive or material modified by the changes uh, contained herein. Executive Order 131332, Federal, Federalism. The Department has reviewed the final rule in accordance with the Executive Order 131332, determined that it is a federal implementation because of the substantial directive effect of the state with the relationship between the national government and the state that is noted by the NPR, um, NPR, NPRM. The Department divided the proposed rule made based on the advice of the Advisory Committee for the Apprenticeship because Advisory Committee on Apprenticeship and a consultant with the State Apprenticeship of this agency, National Association of State with the Territorial Apprenticeship of the Directors. Um, the organization representing the apprenticeship of the official with the District of Columbia with the 27th day, the three territory of the uh, apprenticeship, of the apprenticeship, um, Advisory Committee for the Apprenticeship of the Exchange representing the two association state labor and apprenticeship officials, including the, um, the National Association of State Territorial Apprenticeship Directors, offered and specified the suggestion and on matters relating to the apprenticeship. Program standard registration, deregistration, de apprenticeship of the program proposed rule with incorporated with the accredited um, uh, advisory committee on uh, um, apprenticeship recommendations discussed above the comments regulatory chain, but the final rule carries forward these um, recommendations. The National Association of State Territorial Apprenticeship Directors and State Apprenticeship Agencies do not have direct input into the development of the section proposed final rule with the directly affected the state of the relationship between the national government and the state the department gave through the consideration national. Um, National Association of State Territorial Association of Directors, or National Association of State Territorial Apprenticeship Directors, recommendation on existing regulations submitted in the letter for the President of the National Association of State. State and Territorial Apprenticeship Directors in December 2006, the response request for the Office of Apprenticeship, National Association of State and Territory Apprenticeship Directors, recommendation for the proposed rule pertain to the rules of State Apprenticeship Council with the State Apprenticeship Agency's composition with the State Apprenticeship Council's requirement that the reciprocal approval of the programs registered in one state as seeking the recognition of another state and the final rule effective with the recognition state of the of status currently recognized with the State Registration Agency with the name of the Department of Labor and even the responsibility oversight of the National Apprenticeship System. 
As stated with the end notice per NPMR, we discussed further to below the conservative input of the DAP of the National Association of State Territory Apprenticeship Director with recommendations developing the proposed final rule addition with an over, over review of the comments proposed submitted by the National Association of State Territorial Apprenticeship Director and State and proposed the rules identified six areas for the concern of the state, some of which consistent with the National Association of State and ter Territorial Apprenticeship Director recommendation provision for the area of the increased administrative burden for the state, impact the state internal organization structure requirement the linkage within the workforce investment proposal and system, expansion reciprocal approval for the program standard for the building of the construction industry of the Department of Revenue and State Principal Laws Regulation Policy and Procedure, recognition state of the status of the current Recognize the state registration agency when it, when where appropriate the feasible for the fact of the function with the federal state partners for the registered apprentice for the federal purpose. We revise the final rules to ease the administrative burden within the state. Further, the other issues pertaining to the federal state partnership to determine the proposed requirements for the final rules necessary to ensure conformity. With federal law consisting with the, uh, across the national apprenticeship system, as noted with the NPR, NPRM, this discussion above the final rules affect internal state organizational structure with regard to the state apprenticeship agency, state apprenticeship council. Although no changes have been made um, for the final regarding limited, limiting recognition of the state apprenticeship agency, we'll have set forth explanation for the requirement. We have determined that to become the direct relations between the federal and state agencies is necessary. For the smooth functioning of the National Apprenticeship System, the Department will only grant the recognition for the State Apprenticeship Agency to act as the registration agency for the proposed registered apprenticeship for the federal purposes. The, the final rule requires the recognized state with the established continue with the use of the State Apprenticeship Council with which may be served either advisory and regulatory role accordingly complying with the final rule may require the state seeking the recognition of the registration agency to modify the internal organization structure pertaining to the State Apprenticeship Agency and the State Apprenticeship Council be recognized. The National Apprenticeship Act of the Workforce Investment Act do not authorize the department to mandate the state workforce investment system and economic development and strategies, including registered apprenticeship through all the department encouraged the integration with the state apprenticeship agency may seek such integration through the authority of the internal state organization issue and the remains with the state. Therefore, the final rule simply, um, simply requires the state apprenticeship agency seeking recognition to demonstrate how it pursues language, linkage, and coordinate with the state publicly funded workforce investment system and economic development strategies as discussed in the NPRM. As through the increased coordinated state apprenticeship agency and can promote the registered apprenticeship to the broader audience, further expand the apprenticeship into the high growth, high demand occupations. The NPRM also noted the proposed extension requirement for the reciprocal approval of the program's building construction industry with the requirement that the other state may also raise question regarding the which state registration requirements would apply. As discussed above, the final clarify the rule clarify the program sponsor seeking reciprocal approval from the host state. Must meet the host state wages and hours provision with the apprenticeship the ratio standard. Therefore, the state registration agency retains the authority to enforce the wage and hour provision of the apprenticeship ratio standard in the respective state labor law. The commenter commenters asserted that the requirement for the office of the apprenticeship review with approval of the proposed modification to the state apprenticeship legislation, regulation, policy, and procedure prior to the implementation per observe for the state authority. Final rule clarified with the National Apprenticeship Act of the broad mandate of the Department of the Safeguard for the Welfare of Apprenticeship provided the Department of the Authority to ensure recognized state apprenticeship agency remains accountable for the conformity of the federal law. However, we recognize that they had severe sovereign power with authority to establish the state of the law policy to balance the interests of, the, um, of these two authorities. The state authority to promulgate the state law and policy of the department authority to ensure the recognized state remains um, accountable um, for the conformity with the federal law. The final rule provides the Office of Apprenticeship concerns with the proposed modifications to the state. Principal legislation, regulation, policy, and procedure for the federal purpose of provision with the review of the concurrence intended to provide the responsibility and opportunity for the um, Department of the Inform the recognized state of the area with the non conformity of the provisions that are not intended to diminish the restriction of the state authority to establish law policy, a state decision to establish state law with a policy that does conform with the requirements of the federal apprenticeship law. Regulation has uh, consequences which may include the the de recognition of the state apprenticeship agency as the registration agency authorized to register an apprenticeship program to stand for the federal purpose. However, such recognition does not affect the state authority to register an apprenticeship program to stand for the state purpose. We also have a concern for the time frame of the state seeking new and continued recognition of registration agency to submit the documentation specified in Statute 2913A. The NPM, NPRM provided with one year of the effective date with the final rule. The final rule provided the two year from the effective date of the final rule recognition of the burdens associated with the transition period. Finally, we reiterate the final rule pertains to registered apprenticeship for 
federal purposes with existing regulation, but the final r r rule remains silent with the ma matter of the pertaining the state registration oversight of the apprenticeship program and the apprenticeship of the state and local purposes. The distinction between the registered apprenticeship of the federal purpose and the registered apprenticeship of the state and local purposes serve the limit to the scope of the federal government role in the state government functions. Unfunded mandate of the Reform Act of 1955 or 1995. The regulatory action has been revi reviewed in accordance with the Uniform unf Unfunded mandate for mandate Mandates Reform Act of 1950 1995, Title 22, U.S. Senate Code 1531, Executive Order 12875. The Department has determined that the rule does not include any of the federal mandate, but the result will increase the expenditure of state, local, tribal governments, and aggregated or by the private sector of one, or of $100 million or more in any one year, adjusted by the rate of the inflation between 1995 to 2008, 130 million. Million dollars, according to the department, has not included a budgetary impact uh, estimate. Assessment of federal regulation policies and family department certified that the final rule has been assessed with according with the statute 654 of the public law 105-277 of the statute 112-2681. The effect of the family well-being with the department concluded that the rule will not virtually affect the well-being with the nation's family. Rather, it should have the positive effect with the safeguarding wealth and welfare and registered apprenticeship. The Regulatory Flexibility Act and Small Business Regulatory Enforcement Act and Fairness Act of 1996. The Department has notified the Chief of the Council of the Advocacy of the Small Business Administrative made the certain pursuit with the request for a, with the Regulatory Flexibility Act of the Title V, U.S. Standard Code 605B, with the final rule will not have a significant economic impact with a substantial number of the small and even under the FO request for Regulatory Flexibility, uh, flexibility Act with no regulatory flexibility analysis required where the rule that has significant economic impact with the substantial of the number of the small and even the small and needed to find with a small business, small nonprofit organization, small governmental jurisdiction, Title V, U.S. Standard Code 60135. Um, the definition for the term small entity does not include the states of the individual rules, revised the up to up state, the procedure with the labor, the percentage with the registered apprenticeship program, and administrative with the state and department, not by small governmental jurisdiction that are, that are Approximately 250,000 separate employers that participate in roughly 29,000 registered apprenticeship programs. There are an estimated 468,000 apprenticeships within the National Apprenticeship Petition. Although there may be substantial the number of the small businesses that impact with the rule, most of the 250,000 employers of the department does not believe that there will be significant economic impact with these entities. The small business will not occur. Additional increment of the uh, cost of the requirement rulemaking because of the aspect of the rule must be likely to impact the small entity. The program oversight with the primary apply with the registration and see to monitor the registered apprenticeship. The program rather than imposing the requirements of the registered apprenticeship program, for example, the Title 29 5, here for the forward current program oversight of the requirement for programs managed to comply with the Title 29 CFR Part 30 for the equal opportunity for the opportunity regulation with include the compliance of the review conducted with the registration agency, Title 29 for the imposed for the, imposed for the regulate, regulate, registration agency and the new regulatory requirement to perform the quality assurance of assessment. Registered apprenticeship program as part of the agency performance accountability responsibility with the new provision in Title 29 requirement to perform quality assurance assessment longstanding of the pursuant of circular 9202. The Office of Apprenticeship Guidance on Quality and Assurance Assessment assignment is issued in 1991. Registration agency Agency have assessed the apprenticeship program performances, identify the area of the strength and the opportunity for the improvement. Final rule provision equal opportunity compliance with the review of the quality assurance assessment is no assignment. Assessment responsibility of small programs, other programs compliance, but the cost of the program sponsors associated with the program oversight will be the same as under the current regulations. Over through the comments of the NPRM, that was come to the attention of the, the program performance provision of the 29th sixth of May be placed unintended burden with the small apprenticeship program responsible for the small business by the potential increase with the cost of maintaining the conformity with the part of the potential leading with the degree registration of the small apprenticeship program. Particularly, we are aware of the concern with the requirements of the statute 29 c with the registration agency available with the program performance comparing with the completion with the rates of the program in like industries. Occupations in geographical areas with the possibility of unfairly, unfairly penalized for the programs operated with the small business. We are also aware of the concern with the proposed in 296A with the requirement that every the program that must have at least one registered apprenticeship that could unfairly impact small apprenticeship programs that may experience um, short periods of the time out without any apprenticeship to avoid such an intended consequence for the department have made changes to these provisions in the final rule discussion below. As discussed above, the definition 29.2 for the program performance standards of 29.6 for the program, deed registration 29.8. 
Um, the department clarified the relevant provision final rules to address the concerning about the compliance cost of the burden on the small entity of the potential associated with the registration agency evaluation program performance in statute 296A. The MPRM provided at least every program must have at least one registered apprenticeship in order to be designated as a retaining designation as a registered apprenticeship program for, for federal purposes. We pursue that there may be a limited time that the sponsor may have a lag of the, between the training cycle to meet without registered apprenticeship for a short period of time. We recognize that the small programs with fewer apprenticeships may encounter such a situation more frequently than larger programs. Therefore, the final rule established one year time frame during the program sponsor may be without registered apprenticeship, so the normal program cycle will not lead to deregistration of the small apprenticeship program. By providing a period period of up to one year, so that the rule will not be affected the small programs that are without apprenticeship during the period of training cycle the revised statute twenty nine six A with reduce the administrative cost burdens associated with the small program. Sponsors potentially having them re-register their program, they could have um, they could have otherwise be canceled in conformity in conformity with the Pro 269A. We have revised 296A with the address of the potential concern with the requirement of the registration agency value with the program performance comparing with the completion rate of the program and like industry occupation geographical area with connectively impact with the small apprenticeship program with the registration agency with the comparison with the completion rate with the unfairly penalized the program operated by small business to address the concern with the minimum of any potential unfair impact with the performance accountability provision on small apprenticeship. Programs final 29 seconds of the remove with the comparison of the completion rates across the geographical areas, industrial occupation, drop with the reference of the period with the pros in 29 The Registration agency take other appropriate action the GNC the such programs to provide relation with the performance registered apprenticeship program based on the comparison of the national average of the completion rate. The preamble discussion with the provision clearly explained the completion rate with the information intent with the registration agency you've identified with the program that may benefit the technical assistance will not automatically lead to the program deregistration. The final rule clarified that the completion rates may be potentially factor with the deregistration procedure the only um, when the program demonstrates an outgoing pattern of very low completion rates over several years, the function of the calculating completion rates and the provision technical assistance by the discussing way to improve the program. Completion rates effectively being the part of the registration agency oversight of the operation of the requirements will not agree the new compliance with the cost of the program sponsor the change made and the rule minimize the burden on the program sponsor the small entity with eliminating the risk of the unnecessary program demonstrate the registration procedure proceedings that may have been possibly under proposed in twenty nine six C. The additional definition for the quality assurance assessment completion rate with the D definition is final 292 with the clarification of the version of the program performance in title statute 296. Program D registration final 298 with the final rule minimized for the compliance of the cost reduced any potential burden small and small that may have the result of it from the NPRM. Therefore, the details. The department certified that the proposed rule will not have significant impact on the substantial number of the small entities as a result of no regulatory flexibility analysis is required. As discussed above with regard to the program performance standard for the final 29th the one of the common sure the impact of the provision evaluation of the apprenticeship program qualifies as a rule as a major rule that is under the Executive Order 12866 or the SBREFAA. The Department disagreed with the note above, above the provision of the evaluation program performance is necessary to ensure the program quality, accountability, and national approach to the apprenticeship system do not return into the establishment bid requirements of state and local. Construction prior, therefore, the department could certify that the final rule is major is not a major rule defined in statute 804 of the SBREFA, Title Five U.S. Senate Code 804, Executive Order 1317-5 of the Consolation Coordinated with the Indian, Indian Tribal Government. The department has reviewed the final accord of the Executive Order 1317-5 that determined that it does not comply does not have tribal implica implications. That proposed rules does not have substantial direct efforts on one or more of the Indian tribes or on the relationship between the federal government. And Indian tribes on distribution of power and responsibility between the federal government and Indian tribes. Executive Order 12988, Civil Justice. The final rule has drafted the review according to the Executive Order 12988, Civil Justice Reform will not unduly burden the federal court system. The rule has been written so that it minimizes litigation provided with this clear legal standard of effective conduct, it has reviewed carefully to eliminate drafting errors and ambiguities. Plain language. The department drafted the, its final rule in the plain language. Catalog of the federal domestic assistance. The program is listed in the catalog of federal domestic assistance. Assistance um, number 17201. This is subjects in Title 29, Part 29. Our apprenticeship agreement complaint with the apprenticeship criteria, the apprenticeship standards, program standards, registration, deregistration, sponsor eligibility, state apprenticeship agency, recognition, derecognition. 
Sunday in Washington, D.C., October 15, 2008, Brent R. O'Rell, Deputy Assistant Secretary of Employment and Training Administration. For reasons stated in the preamble, the Department of Labor provides Title 29 CFR Part 29 to read as follows.